All right, good morning. Rub those sleepies from your eyes. The countdown continues. Only four lessons, including today's. Get ready for math lesson 117, dividing decimal numbers by whole numbers. And we've actually divided some decimal numbers by whole numbers for a long time now. In our money problems, right? When you're dividing by a whole number, just bring the decimal point straight up. So you also want to remember when dividing decimal numbers to keep dividing until it divides evenly. Even if there's no other numbers to bring down, all decimal numbers have an infinite amount of zeros at the end. Five tenths is equivalent to fifty hundredths, which is also equivalent to five hundred thousandths, right? So if it doesn't divide out evenly, you don't use a remainder, you don't write it as a mixed number, draw the zeros in and keep bringing them down as necessary. If I was dividing four into five tenths, four divides into zero, zero times. I'd bring my decimal point straight up. Four divides into five, one whole time, multiplies back for four, it subtracts for one. You would not say remainder one. You draw in a zero and bring it down. Your next step would be 10 divided by four. So let's kick it off right now with some easy ones. The big thing I wanna stress also, you wanna make sure you have a quotient digit above each number in the box if you don't have a whole number. Four divides into zero, zero times. If you don't want to multiply it back and subtract zero minus zero, that's fine. Bring your decimal point straight up. Four divides into five, one whole time. Multiplies back for four. It's going to go ahead and subtract for one. I would bring down my two and 12 divided by four is going to give us three for a final answer of 13 hundredths. Make sure you have a quotient digit sitting on top of each number in the dividend. Check out this one, eight hundredths divided by four. Again, I want to make sure I have a quotient digit on top of each number in my dividend. So start off, zero divided by four, hey, that's zero. Bring your decimal point straight up into the answer. Zero divided by four again, hey, that's zero. Eight divided by four, that's going to give us two. Multiplies back for eight and subtracts for zero. I don't even think we need to write that all in, do we? So a final, final answer of two hundredths. This one's a little trickier. Here I have 144 ten thousandths. When I'm all done, I want five digits in my quotient. So zero divided by three, hey, that's gonna give us zero. Zero divided by three, hey, that's also gonna give us zero, right? So I have a zero sitting right here. One divided by three, that's also going to give us zero, but we better start multiplying back now because we're sitting on top of a number greater than zero. Zero times three, that is zero. Go ahead and subtract. One minus zero, that's going to give us one. Bring down the four. Park it right next to the one. Fourteen divided by three, that answer would be four, correct? 4 times 3, that's going to give us 12. 14 minus 12, that's going to give us 2. Bring down that last 4. We have 24 divided by 3, and that's going to give us 8. 8 times 3, hey, that's 24. And it finally divides out evenly. That's how you know when you're done when you finally get it to divide all the way out evenly to zero. So you have 48 ten thousandths. 
Check out this one. Six tenths divided by eight. Shouldn't be too tough right now. Zero divided by eight, that's gonna give us zero. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my decimal point straight up. Six divided by eight. Hey, that's also gonna be zero. Multiplies back for zero. It's gonna go ahead and subtract for six, right? What do you do? Remember, when you run across this situation, draw the zeros in, keep bringing them down as necessary. Don't think of this as six tenths. Think of them now as 60 hundredths. So let's bring down this zero. 60 divided by eight. Hey, that's gonna go in there seven times. Multiplies back. 456. 60 minus 56, hey, that's 4. I'm still not done yet, and I'm out of numbers still. What do you do? Draw in another zero. 600 thousandths would be equivalent to 6 tenths. Park your zero right next to the 4, and 40 divided by 8, that is 5 multiplies back 440, and you're going to go ahead and subtract it for 0 till it divides out evenly for a final answer of 75 thousandths. And let's try one more like this. 3 tenths divided by 4. Well, 0 divided by 4 is 0. Bring my decimal point straight up. 3 divided by 4 is also 0. Multiplies back for 0. Go ahead and subtract it out for 3. I don't have any more numbers to bring down, or do I? Draw zeros in. Keep bringing them down until it can divide out evenly. So let's bring this one zero down because 30 hundredths is equivalent to 3 tenths. 30 divided by 4, that's going to give us 7. Multiplies back 4, grand total of 28. Go ahead and subtract it for 2. And I'm still not done yet. I better go and draw in another 0. Bring it down. Park it right next to the 2. 20 divided by 4, finally it's going to divide out evenly, that is 5, multiplies back 420, and it goes and subtracts evenly for 0, so that's how I know in 5th grade I'm going to be done, 75 thousandths. So that, my friends, is the end. Pretty easy concept other than the zeros. You're definitely going to want a scratch piece of paper for the Socrative quiz, and good luck.